getting lively around the boards. Colin Lloyd, 8-7 up against John Park. Roland Schultz and Darren Johnson tied at five apiece. Kevin Painter, just one leg away from a victory over Diamond Dave Askew. Dave Honey, our karate expert, struggling against Wes Newton at the moment. The Dutch have just beaten England in the 2020 cricket. And it'll be a good day for one Dutchman, Jan van der Rassel, leading Jelle Klassen at the moment. Brendan Dolan, 4-3 ahead against Kevin Medine and uh, Chris Thompson, who reached the quarter-finals, is through 9-1 against Rowley. Here's what else has been happening around the boards. Board 5, Mark Dubridge, 9-7 victory over Johnny Haynes. When the pressure came on at the end, it was only experience that got me through because um, you know I wasn't playing margin, uh, marginally better than him. I guess I was scoring, but um, not greatly. But happy days to be through the third round, and um, I'm going to sleep well tonight, that's for sure. Board number two, you heard about this earlier. Mark Walsh never, ever looked in trouble against Wayne Martin, who's heading home. Mark, I was going to ask you whether that was a quietly efficient performance, but I've just looked at the average. It was 102, so it was much, much more than that. Uh, I've been playing well. I've been playing well for the last few months. Uh, I've been filmed so I've, I've beaten uh, Wayne Van Barnabelle. I'm playing so well. I've got so much confidence. Uh, uh, it's just what I'm doing at the moment. I'm playing well. You mentioned that you beat Taylor in a floor tournament. There's only three guys that have beaten him all year, so you're going to be one of the few players that won't give a hoot who you draw in the next round. It, it, do, it doesn't worry me. This sort of tournament is... is, is it, they, they say it's a lot of luck of the draw. Uh, Whoever's put in front of you, you've got to beat to win this tournament. So it doesn't matter who I've got to play. Uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just play who I've got to play, and I'll beat them. You've got to the final here before. Can you win it? Of course I can win it. Of course I win it. I, I've beaten the, uh, the best three darts players in the world uh, this season. So there's no reason why I can't win it. Ball number six, Alex Roy. Oh, yes, he's pumped up. Lionel Sams is out of the competition. Steve Grubb, big celebration for him. Barry Bates, 2006 finalist, is heading home. That's Mark Lor uh, Lawrence putting Steve Brown in a nail-biter. And Andy Jenkins putting out Justin Pipe, 9-7. And that's Frosty the Throwman, 9-6 victory. He's happy, isn't he? <laughs> Beating Co Stompy. Colin Lloyd has just beaten John Part, 9-8. The three-time world champion is out. And Colin Lloyd, we haven't seen him victorious on TV for a while, have we? Disappointment of the world, could it be his week? at the rebuff. Phil Taylor's here. You were keeping a close eye on all those scores. It, there's a lot of tension out there, isn't there? Yeah, it's great to watch, isn't it? I mean, I've been standing on the balcony up there and watching it on the TV, watching all the scores. It's a fantastic tournament and it's, it's, it's nail-biting for all of us, I'll be honest with you. Is it one that you fear in any way? Because it hasn't no. been the kindest to you over the years. You've lost to Barney three times in the, in the quarter-finals. It's not, not so much your theory, it's more exciting because you don't know who you're going to play. In the World Championships or in Blackpool or any other tournament, then you know you've got next round and you can prepare for that. Whereas now you've got to wait for the draw now and it's, it's, it's exciting, it really is. It took you a little while just to warm up in that game. Yeah. You hit your A game later on, didn't you? Yeah, but Lee was the same. He didn't seem to warm up as well. It was a strange game, you know. From practicing upstairs where it's, it's fairly dark and then you go on stage where it's like... Dead bright. We haven't really had a, a chat since the Premier League. Yeah. That, what happened after that? Did you did you go away, get back on the board, or, 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 or? no? I went for a couple of days. I stayed with Robbie for a couple of days. Had a swim, had a sauna, jacuzzi, and whatnot. Um, knew knew. Well, I know what I'm doing wrong, you know. And it's just a matter. Of, I know what's happening. Now. James may <laughs> Peter Manley. <laughs> there was a lot of booing while you were saying that. That man walked out on the stage. He desperately needs a win, Peter Manley. He At the does. moment, he's, he's not in Blackpool, not in the match play. Do you know what? He's sometimes better when his back's against the wall. And he's, been, he's actually told me, I don't know why, but I've been practicing. I know why he's been practicing, but he's been dedicated for a few weeks. So I wouldn't put money against Peter. Pippin James first round, actually. 
tell me what it's like when you play Peter Manley because he, we know he's the king of gamesmanship, the odd whisper in the ear and all yeah. that sort of stuff. What, what's acts, it like? He acts as if he's not really bothered and it doesn't matter and I've got loads of money and I can retire whenever I want. But deep down, he's, he's wanting to win. He wants to win. He's killing him now not to be in the top 16 or top, top, top five, really. You know, he's very capable. I think he's been doing too much work. He's been, he's been week in and week out too much. Too much with the PDPA as well, you know, everybody comes to Peter with the troubles and he keeps it all on his shoulders. He's got his own troubles, you know what I mean, with his own game and, and he keeps doing it. Well, you can't tell him, he won't listen. Tell me about his opponent, James Wade, because people say Fantastic. now the rivalry between, is between you and him rather than you well, and Barney. I don't Barney. know, I think James, I, I personally think James Wade's fantastic, I really do. As a player, as a person, I like him as a person. He's very dedicated, he's got himself fit. You know, he's not lazy, he's a good lad, and I think he's, uh, he, he's going to learn, a, he's teaching us a lesson now. Did it, was it a disappointment to you not to face him in the final? Yeah. And because you, you, you've always beaten him when it comes massively. to major finals. And massively, massive, massive, massive. In the Premier yeah. League, yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone was going, right, write it in now, it is going to be yeah, but Taylor it's against not, Wade. It's not, it's all on the night, you know, you turn up sometimes, you don't feel 100% and I didn't feel right. And I got beaten, and that's that's the top and bottom of it, you know. Maybe play better than what I did. There's no no excuses. You know, he was the better man, and the next time I play, maybe I'll be the better man. I'll try a bit hard, that's for sure. Would, would you like Mervyn King in the draw just to just to prove I'm a not point? Bothered. It doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? You, I'm not no no. Really? <laughs> I'd like Peter in the final. That's for sure. <laughs> you know, of course I would, but it doesn't matter really. Whoever you play now, have earned the places. You know, Mark, look at Mark Frost, brilliant, absolutely. Fantastic, just got through, loads of players and the Yankees, it doesn't matter who you play, it really doesn't. You've uh, entertained us in the last uh, hour or so, let's uh, see what happens in this one. I think, I don't know about you, but I think this one could be a little bit entertaining. Could this, it, this could go all the way. All right, Peter Manley, James Wade, the commentary team, John Gwynn and Sid Waddell. Uh, nice to hear the power cracking up both these great characters of the game. Manley plays Barry Holden. Plays the pantomime filling with James Wade. Jenner's hockey is brussing and bouncy as any dot player could be. Having taken the Premier League Championship a matter of days ago with a brilliant 13 8 win. Well, Alan Mervyn King John Gwynn. Yes, very much the man in form, isn't he? And what an important uh, tournament this is for Peter Manley. It's been stated 16. several times James that he Green really does Green. need to go a long, long way in this tournament in order possibly to earn himself a place in the world match play. Now then, double ten for James Wade for an early 61. 15 data, but 16 will do him. Radio Wolverine start here. Yeah. James Wade, absolutely brilliant, been on fire for the last couple of years. Give will take the odd glitch to a five. No idea. Magley, still with these darts. They're not quite as thick at the end, they used to be like. Price, Pickle Onions, double ten. Double five again.